Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Subrata Sarkar. I'm a mechanical engineer working in manufacturing in Rasti more than 22 years. Today, I'll discuss the subject decision making. I'll discuss a little uh, technical uh, way actually, how the, there, is a pro there are process actually or steps for decision making. Decision is basically saying yes or no or to for some any situation or something. But saying that yes or no is not an easy job actually. For for that you need a lot of you know analysis, you know, back of the mind actually. And if your yes or no goes wrong, so what the consequences can happen? So that also needs to be taken care of. So the person who gives decision is not you know easy job actually. They have a lot of experience and knowledge in the subject to give you a right decision for any particular situation. So decision is basically you know choice made out of different alternatives actually which affects the person's life or the organization's business. And decision are basically two types, one is called a routine decision and one is the major decision. Routine decision means things which you know happens daily and many times uh, we sometimes don't consider these uh, taking decision like today what breakfast I'm going to take, which you know dresses I'm going to wear for going to offices or some places whether today in the evening we'll go out for the dinner or i bring at the home so these are the small small things happens in daily life these also you no know, decision uh, needs to be taken actually so these are called routine decision and the major decision say which needs is major decision is basically long term basis so for example you want to buy a car so it's not you know whimsically or for and suddenly you choose that i'll do buy that car actually because a lot of things needs to be considered and it will be used for many years and there is a huge money needs to be invested so in such cases before taking that decision you need to do a lot of comparison collecting a lot of data do analysis discuss with the people your family and the concerned persons then you take the decision and uh, you know this there is um, the financial decision sometimes like you know investing money for any say fixed deposit or some bonds or in the share market so these are the long term things and which you know and money is very very important so you know th these are the things actually financial decision is also needs to be taken care of very you know very very carefully with the discuss to the experienced people and taking the data from the internet and then you can take the right decision otherwise you know there is a possibility that you know you might uh, lose uh, money actually so decision making in a short way uh, there are four steps actually one is identifying the problem List the alternative, then you decide, then evaluate and reason. Person who are doing a lot of decision making, they also know that what happens with the decision actually. So by that way, actually they get experienced actually. So in businesses, if we see there are you no know, eight steps in offices or organization to take decision. Number one, identifying the problems, identify the decision criteria actually for and allocate the weight to the criteria like which criteria has got this much percentage or the weighting and develop the alternatives analyze each of the alternative the consequences what will happen if i choose this alternative then out of those you select the alternatives and implement the alternatives and evaluate the decision making effectiveness so these eight thing points are actually basically you know steps for making decision in any organization or business so that you can get the you know, best possible decision actually out of that actually. and in decision making many times what happens in most of the times there are two factors two sides actually one is the internal sides another is the external sides so that is you know there are many things which are not in your control and there are many things which are you know in uh, our internal control so that part also needs to be analyzed very very carefully actually there are four important, as I said, that in short way, four important points. One is identifying problem, one is list the problems, decides on the problems, and evaluate the result. This is a very common four steps for decision making in personal life as well as you know in uh, professional life also. But in a very precisely, as I say, if you want to go in organization or business perspective, you should go uh, with this. You know, these eight points actually for our decision making as very you know, professional way actually and you know uh, many cases what happens actually you know that every option has a different consequences so that is very very important like you know evaluation or final taking the decision every you know alternative stuff so which alternative is stronger from which directions 
that's very very important actually and this that is the value of decision making process okay, many times what happens out of all these things some people have some value in their mind actually so that also influence the decision making process suppose someone want to get a big order in a business some people have you know the person who is going to take the decision whether we should go take the order some people they know that we must need this order by any any means but some people you know they, they are very ethical so if we get this order in this way then we'll get take this order otherwise we don't need this order so, so some cases value or the principle or ethics also you know affects the decision making process actually and you know this uh Obviously, there is a benefits for a good decision making process. It's a, it, it, if, if it's in the case of the personal life, so quality of life will enhance if you are in a position to take right decision and at the same way in organization perspectives also if you can take the right decision so organization will you know, grow like anything and if your decisions are wrong in organization's perspective so there is a, every chance of that organization will move toward in the wrong directions or the negative directions. So we find this presentation is interesting, you can share with your friends and if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, you can subscribe to our channel by clicking on this bell icon so that you can get the notification for my future presentations. Thanks a lot for your attention.